Hello again, and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today. A uh, quick reminder, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Uh, it costs nothing, and it helps me out immensely. I'm not just saying that. It really does help. Uh, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for the support. I truly do appreciate it. So, Hangar Boxes of Series 1 have been good to me so far. It's actually safe to say that they've been very good to me. And uh, so I'm willing to push my luck, although I don't think it's pushing it. Let's do it. Let's pull some crazy stuff. There's going to be two exclusive Royal Blue base card parallels in here. I'm hoping they're both rookies, and I'm hoping that one's Alec Baum, and I'm hoping the other one is Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, there are probably, doesn't say this on the box, but there are probably going to be six to eight rookies in here. I hope they're all position players. Uh, but maybe if we get a hot box, it'll be 12 to 13 rookies. Uh, they retail for $11.99 plus tax. I think I paid $12.99 plus tax for this, or thereabouts. Um, as I always like to say, you are one pack away from greatness. And I'm opening the pack anyway, so let's pull some rookie card fire. That's right, I like to remind I don't say it so much for you guys. I like to remind the universe um, that you're just one pack away from greatness. And that I want to pull some fire. Because sometimes the universe does need reminding. So with all these, other than the base rookies, all the good stuff is in the middle. We've got a rainbow foil. Uh, all the good stuff is in the middle. So we will save the middle stuff for last. And if that is not okay with you, then I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. Yeah, maybe I will apologize, but not mean a word of it. Okay, back to it we go. I am not going to be pronouncing each and every name. Just the names that I deem worthy of this opening. No. Um, let's be honest. These are all Major League Baseball players. And I'm a dude sitting at my kitchen table uh, with a $10 light next to me and a little webcam. Uh, turns out I cannot hit a fastball or a curveball or a slider or a knuckle curve. Or a change-up, or a, a knuckleball, for that matter. I also can't throw any of those pitches, so... Who am I to judge? Anyway. As it is, we're at three rookies. Evan White, Cody Whitley, Jesus Sanchez. Those people can all hit fastballs. Even the pitchers. That's right. Pitchers can hit fastballs, too. Pitchers have feelings. I know they don't have a lot of value in this hobby, but pitchers have feelings, too. All right. And in Dunning. So we're up to four. Four rooks. Four rooks. Here's a fun fact. Mitch White, at the time um, at the time that this uh, rookie card was printed, it only had, like, two appearances in the major leagues, I believe. Because he's had two so far at the time I'm filming this, this season. So he must have only had, like, two last year. And he got a rookie card. And yet Jake Cronenworth... Uh, who's played for like a year and a half, still doesn't have a rookie card, maybe in Series 2. I believe he'll probably be in Series 2, but I cannot speak for uh, the trading card companies and who they put in. But anyway, back to it. Luis Robert, um, unfortunately, on the injured list. Starling, starring for the uh, Miami Marlins in that photograph. Bobby Dalbeck. Bobby Dalbeck. I always do the old Boston accent, but if you check, he's from Parker, Colorado. Pretty sure he does not have a Bostonian accent. Bobby Dalbeck. There's a good one. Man, look at that. Danny Duffy. Look at that, man. He is. He looks like he's pissed off at the ball. Anyway, there's a Joe Adele. There's a Joe Adele. He's been spending some time in the minors. He's probably thinking, man, uh, let me give me give me another hack at the old majors. Let's see if I can put a dent into the ball. And uh, the rookie base card rookie uh ex Explosion rouge, and the explosion continues. Uh, seven, we got now uh, seven coming up at eight. Casey Mize, I surmise that that is a good pull. Look at this, holy smokes. See, a uh, hot hanger box is not like a widely known term. It's just like a term that I use. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about. I mean, we're up to 11, and I can see it right there. Going to be 12 rookie cards out of this one hanger box. And we haven't even gotten to the juicy stuff in the middle is why I love these hanger boxes. Now, you might be asking yourself, 
Why does this dude get so excited about base rookie cards? Because Tatis, Series 2 used to be just a regular base rookie card. Soto, 18 update, was once a base rookie card. It's still a base rookie card, technically. Uh, Acuna, as well. And now these cards are worth lots of money. Like, insane amounts of money for a base rookie. All it takes is for one of these dudes, preferably all 15 of these dudes, to, uh, to break out. And man, all of a sudden... All these work rookie cards you're looking at, hundreds of dollars. So if you're keeping track at home, we are now up to 16 rookie cards out of this one hanger box. And I am almost out of room, and we got the middle stuff to come. And it's going to be good. I can feel it. There's a Trent Grisham. He's good at baseball. He plays on the same team as Tatis, and so he doesn't get the attention. But we've got a Chrome. Is it going to be a Baum? Looks like it's going to be a Freddie Freeman. And these Chromes look cool. And we have a Rainbow Foil, and it's a team card. I know I don't I don't sound excited about a team card, and that's because let's be honest, I'm not excited about a team card. Are you excited about a team card? I mean, it's a rainbow foil, but it's an Arizona Diamondback team card. Even if it was my team, I would probably not be excited about it. I'm sure there's people out there, completists, who uh, anyway, let's get back to it. Will there be a cool blue rookie card? Please say yes, Alec Baum. Look at that. We're we're out of room. We're out of room, folks. Alec Baum followed by a Dylan. Carlson, wow, man, 18 rookies in one hanger box. I, I had really enough room. We still got the blues. How about a Baum and a Carlson blue? We do have a Greg Maddox. First blue is a Kevin Kiermeyer. Next blue is a Brandon Workman. And then we have one of these through the years inserts. So, uh, didn't get a monster blue, but let's be honest, uh, I could complain about this hanger box, but I will not complain because this is an amazing hanger box. I mean, I know we didn't get an autograph or a relic, but we got so many rookies. We paid like twelve ninety nine for this thing. If any of these rookies pans out, then this hang then this hanger box will have been paid for itself just on that alone. So let me know what you think of the hanger boxes and this one in particular. Uh, leave a comment and uh, hit the subscribe button on the way out.